Welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today in this rare nighttime edition is the rest of the daily challenges. Tomorrow we're going to be going to autumn storm season. Can't wait to get that new Subaru WRX. But first, 321. Like I said before, I can't help but think this is a reference to the channel, but you know, almost certainly is not, but it's it's nice to dream. Anyway, earn three stars at the launch control danger sign. Now, which one of these is launch control? Let's get rid of everything but the danger signs and launch control. Okay, so that was easy. I thought this was like festival, whatever. Anyway, it's fun. Launch control. Earn three stars. So this is 1450. I want to get something ridiculous. I feel like this has insane speed. But this has 10, and the other one has 9.9. .9. Let's try the Avia. I think that's how you say that. I hope it's not Avija. We're gonna roll on out here in this all electric, hyper, hyper, hyper car. This thing is insane. Looks and performs like a spaceship, especially at this uh, upgraded version. With a drift four speed transmission, looks like. I'm gonna take it until it tops out or theoretically could, and we're gonna turn it around. Like I said, we need 1,450 feet here. Those are some big numbers. I think I have went 3,000, almost. Pretty dang close, 2,941 in the Jesco. Smoky launch to start. Oh, traffic cars, why do you hurt me? Here we go. I can hear it shifting, which is a weird thing for an all electric. 275, six, it's going so fast I can't keep up. Don't hit the guardrails and lift off. I didn't say three, two, one, dang it. Perfect opportunity missed. There it is, three stars. We landed it, no fails. Everything is good. Let's get that notification. There it is. So with that, we had one more point until we got this Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. We get another one, send it off to your friends or gift it to another player or whatever, what have you. Put it in the auction house. For this week's final daily challenge, testing grounds, play any event lab from the Creative Hub. This is a perfect opportunity if you have not played the single event lab in the festival playlist to go ahead and hit that one. I, on the other hand, am going to hit up something. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look what suds the cat has here. Darny Flarshnift. I, I don't think I can do that today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, look at that Inception. I love the movie, not going to play the track. Stadium Trucks Team Battle. Sounds really good. Hmm. We have a C600 and then we have an A800. Fast turns, asphalt. Suds the cat with Baja City Circuit. Let's give it a try. We'll see if it makes the video. Oh no, that's all we can use? <laughs> no, no, why? Oh man. See, this guy is cruel. Usually it's like really hard to navigate obstacles. This time it's a wooden English sports car. Yeah, that's why. We could use the uh, Harley powered thing in front of us. I guess given the category, that's what it is. This thing just sounds good. Testing grounds complete. I guess as soon as we entered, oh, I like the jump. Hey, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Oh my gosh. Now, all we have to do here is play an event lab. We don't have to win. I like this. This is cool. I'm slipping into my event lab showdown self. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah, this is cool. We've had enough airtime. I like it. Very, very big departure from what Suds the Cat or Darny Florschnift, if you know him by that name, usually gives us. I've played his craziness on the Event Lab Showdown on Sundays before. Today we're just daily challenging it. Whoa, why is there dirt? I think that's where the regular Forza map bled through. That's cool though. Five laps here. If you guys aren't familiar, sometimes when these. These circuits have a, uh, a lot of laps. I'll break away and we'll come back 
either if something happens or at the end. So let me get this second lap out of the way. And then I'm just going to turn and burn some more laps. I don't mind this car. It's okay. I would have liked to have had a little notice. I thought I could use, you know, something from my collection. I think if I came back here, I would make this car all-wheel drive and rally suspension. I don't even, oops. Ugh. I don't even know if it needs any more power. I would just make it not spin like it just was and make those uh, jumps a little easier to soak up. Maybe even rally tires because they're better on asphalt and then they'd be a lot better on the dirt. I just like rally tires, man. Okay, it's the third lap. I'm going to shut up. I could talk all day to you guys, but... Ooh. Yeah. I guess you guys are here now, aren't you? Um, I was wondering through most of the race if uh, those telephone poles would break away. And it looks like it does. But there's a little base that stays. So, myth busted and ouch. Final lap. Let's see if we can eclipse our best time of 54.7. Alright, it's looking good. Let's see what we can do here. No. No too slow it was not looking good the lane switches i think uh i knew at the time were gonna burn me and there it is 445 we're gonna give it a like and the sun has come up it was so many laps let's go back to the creative hub really quick let's go to history and we'll give you guys that event information so we have a 800 it doesn't tell me what cars. I would imagine it is just Morgans at that power level. And it says, with jumps and tight turns, this road circuit will put your vehicle through its paces. I really enjoyed it. Five laps, six and a half miles. The short code is 16105609.4. Shout out to Suds the Cat, a.k.a. Darnie Florschnift, I think. And uh, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm here every day playing Forza Horizon 5. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I will see you tomorrow for a brand new festival playlist. Later.